Hi everybody. So, um, I know I haven't done an update since Alina was born, and um, I wasn't really planning on doing any more. Um, but things have kind of changed a little bit. Um, just to update you on Alina, she is 15 months old now, and she is very happy, very healthy. Everything has been going fine with her. She's only had a cold like twice since she's been born and she never ever gets sick so I have some news on July 9th um, at, well as you all know I had the implant on implant inserted in my arm after at my six-week appointment after I had Lena and um, on July 9th I had to get it removed because of some symptoms that I was having um, it was causing me to have a lot of pregnancy symptoms that weren't acceptable for me um, I didn't want to have to go through morning sickness every day and not be pregnant so I had it removed um, and I took some tests tonight and I know you can't see them uh, on my camera because my I'm doing this on my phone but it's positive. I took two first response and this little cheap dollar store one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can see any of them on my camera, but they're really, really faint. And um, I haven't had, it's now um, August 30th now. And I got the implant on removed on July 9th. I haven't had a period yet, so I'm not really sure when I ovulated, but um, I haven't been doing OPKs. I haven't been doing basal body temperature. The only thing that I know for sure is that I had a, a pretty dramatic cervical mucus change about 10 days ago. So, I'm assuming that I must be about 10 days past ovulation right now, which would account for why they're so faint. But, um, they're definitely there, and by, if I count me ovulating about 10 days ago, then my due date would be on May, around May 13th. So... This is the beginning of my pregnancy vlog, and I will hopefully be doing those once a week throughout the pregnancy, and hopefully Elena will be part of that. Um, I, I kind of thought that I was pregnant when, um, for the past couple nights after I would eat, I would get what started last night. And, sorry, my phone vibrated, and I got nauseous afterwards and just randomly thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't really think anything about it. And then today, at um, right after lunch, I did the same thing, and tonight, after, after I ate supper, I did the same thing, and I smoked cigarettes, and uh, after I ate supper... I smoked a cigarette and I couldn't finish half of it because I felt like I was going to throw up. And so that kind of set off some alarms for me. Um, my husband, he says, uh, oh, we got married in December. Um, but anyway, my husband, he said, um, I'm not, I don't trust it. Um, it one line is more faint than the other one. I'm going to believe it when they're both the same shade of pink. So, whatever. But, um, I know, and, uh, just like the directions tell you, even if one line is not as dark as the other one, it's still a positive. If it's pink, it's a positive. So, um, they came up immediately, and it's nighttime urine. So, it's positive. <laughs> But, um, I haven't decided where I'm going to go, uh, to the doctor yet, 
Um, I had a friend of mine tell me that uh, a hospital close by here, which I didn't know whenever I was pregnant with Alina, that um, they do water births. And I really, really, really wanted to do that with her. And I kind of regret not having done it with her, not having done a natural birth with her. So I'm planning on doing that uh, if it is medically available for me at the, you know, when it comes time to deliver, if I'm not required to have a C-section or anything. Um, so, yeah, my only other option for a water birth or a doula midwife assisted birth was to travel two hours from here once I'm in labor. Um, and then they only allow you to stay 24 hours maximum in the facility after you have the baby, which is cool and all, but it's a two hour drive back. And I don't want to be in the same amount of pain that I was in 24 hours after I had Elena and trying to drive two or trying to ride two hours back um, on the interstate. So this one is about an hour closer. Um, and it's a hospital. They just offer, you know, water birth and midwife and doula assisted births. Um, so we'll see about that. Um, I'm not really sure when I'm going to um, schedule my first appointment. I, I don't know. Um, because right now I'd be only three and a half weeks pregnant. Um, I don't know whether to go ahead and schedule it and get checked out or because I have a history of miscarriage or wait a week or two and then do it that way they can at least you know go ahead and do an ultrasound and um, kind of know what they're dealing with but if you know I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up if you know um, if you have any suggestions then just leave them in the comment box um, and hopefully uh, everything goes fine I really don't want to have to go through another um, incident like happened before um, with my miscarriage so hopefully everything goes you know like it's supposed to and this is a healthy pregnancy um, but I will keep you guys updated and next time because I'm in p my pajamas now um, on the next vlog um, which will be my four week update and that'll be in a few days um, I will have my guest star Alina and um, I will give you a belly measurement, which nothing's happening now, obviously, but it'll be like a pre-pregnancy, um, type measurement, and we'll do a weight, so I'll have to get a scale by then, <laughs> but, um, I hope to see you guys then, bye!